already we got level 40 off camera just doing dungeons and then i was i got like 39 and 95 one hundredths of the way um so i did a couple uh leave brand or one leave leave meat or lev meat or whatever they're called and um camp tranquil because that's where i was for white mage purposes but raya osena has the level 40 white mage quest oh brother where art thou good movie it's going to give me cure three which is a aoe of sorts mercy i owe you an apology says raya osena when last we spoke i promised that i would find a way to convince my brother to accept you but i fear he intently refuses to heed my words why the more i try to reason with him the more he shuts his ears to me all pride and no common sense that one i can scarce believe we are kin so intent so intent is he to prove that you are un unneeded that he dashed out into the forest all alone boasting that he would placate every last elemental and save the forest all by himself needless to say such a task is far beyond his powers uh, there is a part of me that would like nothing more than to see the foolish boy learn his lesson and yet as a sister i fear for him so I cover up my uh, full, what do they call it? Free company chat. I'm used to like guild or link shell, but free company. They just had to make a new name for it. Uh, she fears for him. Okay. Would you go look after him, Mercy? Seeds here or no, he is in many ways still a child and the forest grows ever more unsafe these days. I thought to go myself, but if you were to save my brother from his own recklessness, perhaps he might finally see how fatuous he has been. When last I spoke with him, he announced his intentions to begin his efforts in the Bramble Patch. With any luck, you may still find him there. Now please go in haste before some ill fate befalls him. <clears throat> that is up thar. Yeah. We're gonna not teleport. Um, if you are doing this without flying... Teleporting will be faster by a good measure, as it always is. But if you're flying, you can just fly basically straight northeast, kind of north northeast, kind of between those two directions. Um, straight from the south shroud into the east shroud. I think I have to go into yeah. I think you have to go yeah. Wait, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that just in case. You gotta go into these tunnels that are. That looked like they were bunkers carved out like during World War Two or whatever. But the Bramble Patch is in the kind of it's in the quote unquote lowish levels of East Shroud. In the in the kind of north northwest portion of it. Anyway. Arun Senna is sitting outside, kind of like that posture that they give everybody in this game when they're kind of trying to catch their breath. They got one knee down on the ground, one knee kind of up, like like a um, 90 degree angle. Um, and then one hand on the ground, breathing deeply. You can see their breath. Let's see what's up, Arun Senna. Or Arun Senna. Hmm. If it isn't my sister's favorite adventure, come to show me up, have you? Well, you can march right back and tell sister that I'm doing just fine. I'm only uh, re resting. <coughs> Even if I were hurt and, uh, and uh, un unable to placate this tree, that was me, not him. Uh, what could a run-of-the-mill adventure like you do about it? Let me show you. Oh no, there's too many. Help me. <laughs> just kidding, I'm fine. Put arrow on all of them. Get a region going on me. This one's almost already dead. Get some going. Got region from the bird also. Hey, everybody heard about my bird. Region, 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 my bird. I can't promise I won't do a song like that again. I know it wasn't great, though, so, like, trust me. If we ever show your section, believe me, it's for your own protection. Because you see things that you need not see, and we be places that you need not be. So go with your life, look at the Roswell crap, show your love to the black suit. That's the man, man. that's the man, man. 
Now we will touch this tree surrounded by purple dark energies. And now it's all sparkly. We sparkled the tree. Good job, everybody. Arun Senna stands up a little bit slowly, looks at you. Hmm, beginner's luck. If you think healing a sapling or two is going to convince me that you are a worthy inheritor to the teachings of Master Atoa. Looks. Arun, you yourself do not believe those words, says Raya. Sister, what are you doing here? She walks forward toward him a bit. Oh, just like three or four feet away. Seeing to my pig-headed brother's safety, what do you think I am doing? Uh, for better or worse, it would appear you suffer only from bruises to your leg and your pride. Arun, for all your obstinacy, I know that deep down you are no fool. No, you are wise beyond your years. You realize as well as I the dire fate uh, that will befall Gridania if we do not quell the Great One's fury and restore peace to the wood. The adventure is not Pajali, that is true. But what of it? Would you blindly trumpet tradition as the very as the very forest turns against us and brings ruin to our home? We have a greater calling to answer, and you know this. He looks kind of put in his place a little bit. I, I do, sister. He's looking down, walking kind of like, oh, I guess or whatever. A little more sad than that. That was kind of more obstinate. Oh, my dear Arun, what are sisters for if not to forgive their little brother's fits and folly? Now, Mercy, I believe the most important task of all still awaits awaits us. Uh, let us return to Camp Tranquil. Can you warp us there? Hello? Hey, hun? hun? Can you warp, can you warp us there? In, so I grew up in Tri-Cities, Washington. Um, I went to kinder care for a fairly decent portion of my, I think up until maybe second or third grade when I, my parents decided it was okay for us to, or, we lived really close to my elementary school, like two or three blocks. Um, and as we were walking home, so were a lot of other kids along the same path. So it was, and you know, parents driving their kids back from school. So it was, it was pretty damn safe. And you know, we had safe words and all that shit. But the point is, when I was in kinder care at that young age, there was a, I believe it was a girl. Uh, it's been a long time, so I don't remember that well. Um, but so, I remember somebody, I think it was a girl, telling me she didn't like me reading aloud to the rest of the group at kinder care. Like if, if we were taking turns or if whatever, whatever was happening in that case. Because I was slow at it. And I was like, I'm not a slow reader. <laughs> and then I do, I read quest texts and I read um, dialogue and monologues and stuff and occasionally I stumble and it, it almost always flashes back to that that one moment where maybe I'm not that good of a reader okay back to Raya Osena mercy thank you I knew it was only a matter of time before Arun came around to reason and yet his hesitance to accept you was not entirely un unfounded when we first met I promised that one day I would share with you the tale of how white magic came to be regarded as a forbidden art well I suppose this is as good a day as any for the telling the tale begins some three millennia ago, in the fifth astral era. It was a time of the endless frost, with a barren wasteland of snow and rime stretched as f when a barren wasteland of snow and rime stretched as far as their eye could see. Food was scarce, and warmth scarcer. Warmth scarcer. The histories hold many a grim tale of those who died in their beds, starving and, and benumbed. So did our ancestors discover magic, born out of the most fundamental instinct, survival. In time, the winter thawed, and magic was no longer essential for survival. But once awakened to its conveniences, there was no returning to how things once were. Ere long, the people discovered all the myriad ways in which magic could be employed, and civilization flourished. But prosperity breeds contempt, and nations warred for power and riches. Uh, so did the people seek greater and greater power to rain destruction down upon their enemies. So was born black magic, the most devastating form of sorcery the world has se had seen. At the same time, another form of magic emerged, 
brought forth by those who would keep this immense destructive power in check. That is white magic, our magic. Does this surprise you? Just as there can be no dawn without the night, the white and black are but two sides of the same coin. War raged on and magic was used and abused with little concern for the consequences. And consequences there were. Unchecked, unchecked use of magic soon dried the flow of aether, threatening to bring blight to the land. The magic of healing? It made little difference. If used with no concern for the aether, a magic could, proved as, could prove as ruinous to the land as the most devastating black magic spell. And so it was that the practicing of white magic was forbidden, with one exception, the Pajal. Our kind were entrusted as sole shepherds of the now forbidden art, to serve as healers and bringers of peace while ensuring that this great power would never again be misused. Though he is still young, Arun feels this profound sense of responsibility as strongly as any of us. Does, <coughs> well, <coughs> Thus his hesitance to accept you, but having seen your abilities and the sincerity of your, inten sincerity of your intentions, you can rest assured his doubts have, have been dispelled. With the three of us united in place and purpose, and your skills ever growing, the day that we may perform the quieting draws near. To our fortune, the Great One has not yet been entirely consumed by fury, but our time remains short. To, to commune with the Great One and restore the Twelvewood to its former state of harmony, we must truly be one of heart, one of mind. It is to this end that Atala Kant, Kant has guided you to us. Further your mastery of our art, Mercy, and let us mend the wounds uh, of the wood together. Cure 3 restores the HP of the target and all party members nearby the target, so I don't have to be the center of it. So I can... But it does cost 1,500 with a potency of... Um, was it 550, I think I saw? Well, we'll check in a second. Yatta! Okay. 1500 cost, 550 potency, versus 900 cost for Medica, which is my other AoE, which is 300 potency. So, as far as potency to cost ratio, Cure 3 is better. Not by a lot, but better. But it is more expensive, so... You know, choose when to use it, basically. Every 3 MP equals 1 potency in Medica. And every... 2.9 or 2.87 or something. I don't like it. Let's do the math. Why not? I like math. I'm curious. Uh, let's bring this over here. So that was... We'll do, we'll do MP divided by cure, which is what I did for the last one. So 1500 divided by 550. 2.72. So it costs 2.72 for one potency versus the three for one potency. However, what really matters for AoE is how many you can hit with it. If you are casting it into a group that you're not part of, you're probably hitting the tank. You're probably hitting, what's the range? 30 yards? Damn. Oh wait, the radius is 10, sorry. So I can cast it just as far as I can cast any of my other spells that are single target. Um, however, the radius is small. So it would hit, yeah. So anyway, um, the potency per mana might be better, but Anyway, that's it for this video. I was just going to do the white mage quest. I have to pee. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.